So what's up guys, I'm excited to make this little bug that I saved on January 4th. Shout out to Bethany Kroll Sculpture Studio on Instagram, check out her work. I saw it and I'm, actually, I'm absolutely, I love it. Um, and this was one of the little, one of the, her little sculptures that I just really thought was cool. And I thought it'd be great to model it in 3D. So I'm gonna try to do that now. Um, this is my little alligator guy. Okay, so, um, I, oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And then I'm gonna start from scratch and we're gonna see how it's gonna go. So let me start with a new, with a new scene. I'll change the color of the background. And there's, I'm gonna make it a met cap because I always start with the met cap and I'm actually gonna bring back the grid just so I'll know where I am in space. So this is the front and I'll also make it orthographic. Okay, so So it looks like it's in, it looks like it's in three sections. So what is the best way to, there's probably even a much easier way to do this. So let me just try something else real quick that might be actually easier. The Golden Beetle. Oh no. It never fails. It wasn't even for me. It's for my fiance. Okay, so we make it a little bit rounder. Like this. I'm gonna validate it and now I will just use the trim tool to cut it. Something like that. And maybe we'll just thin it up a little bit. Now I can't see the top, I can't see the top, so. So I think first we'll just smooth this out, smooth out this bottom. You know what, maybe we'll voxel, we'll remesh it. Because usually when I remesh things, then they, um, the smooth is much, much smoother rather than it just like sort of falling apart. So I do a voxel remesh and I kind of like picked that up when I was doing like the syrup. Because when I was doing the syrup, anytime I would try to, uh, See if I can remesh again and get rid of these things. These artifacts. I like my shapes smooth. I like my shapes like I like my milkshakes. Smooth. That was that was not that was not great. Hopefully you can't hear my my respiratory system. I feel like I, I sound loud today for some reason. Okay, uh so this is a nice little nice little round top. So now we have to sort of figure out the sectioning. 
do we want to do, do we want to actually make them in sections or do we want to just use a crease? I think I might just try and use crease. But it actually looks like there's, there's like a, hmm. There's almost like a little round, maybe if I use layer, there's like a little round piece that almost looks like it's in the crease. So it might be easy to make the crease and then make that little, see there's like a, it might just be the crease, but it actually looks like a, like a, like a small tube. Like it looks like a, like a small um, string or like a tube type thing. And we'll see, we'll see if I need that. So let's try to figure out this, the back of this shell. And it looks like it just goes around here, but I'm not sure if it maybe like comes down the back. So maybe we'll experiment with that. I'm gonna do, make sure symmetry is on. I'm gonna turn off the color. And now I'm gonna, I need to subdivide this. Um, no, not separate. So I need to subdivide it because I, I need my crease to be the brush is actually still big. Okay, that's cool. That's good. Let me make sure that I Okay, so if I don't have to subdivide the the least that I have to subdivide, I'll do that. So this actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna turn the intensity up. That looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna check the settings to see if I can't get it any deeper. So I see these settings, I'm gonna put them all the way up to one. Didn't really look like it did much. Pinch force. Hmm, that doesn't really look like it did much. So, intensity, I wonder if I can raise the intensity here. And a lot of times I do just have to sort of play around with these settings. It looks like everything is like, everything is making it lighter than I want instead of uh, making it deeper. I just want a deeper curve. But for me, this is a uh, part of the process is just learning these settings and just trying out different settings because that's the only way that I learn uh, when I actually get something that uh, that works. I might get a little loud here. The fiance is back and on the phone, which usually means loud talking. So we'll see how it goes. So most of the section is, most, most of the section is, so most of the section is back. It looks like it goes like this. So since symmetry is on, I should just be able to do one section. Wait, that's not right. So maybe we just do something like that. Looks about right. So well, I can't really see underneath, but I feel like so just try to get... I feel like I'll just make a nice pattern on the bottom. Even though I, I probably won't show it, I don't know. I just like to do details like that. I like to do special things on the bottom. So that looks pretty good so far. So now the head. 
make sure that I'm on the exact top. So the head looks like maybe something like this. The head actually looks quite a bit lower. Maybe something like that. But I think it would but I think it would come more to the end. Um, no, I feel like the head is that's still a bit too high. So you know what I think I need to do is maybe move the head, move the tip bit out a little bit. Let's see. I think I just want to move it out the slightest bit. That, that feels that feels better. I'm very very detail oriented, extremely detail oriented. It's kind of funny sometimes. So I don't want to, I don't want this to go too high. But I also don't want it to be too small. I think that's good. That feels that feels right. So let me go ahead and. Make this a little deeper. Actually, it looks like looks like the eyes will cover the very sides. So this looks good. Yeah, when I was doing my turtle shell, I probably should have just used crease. I did this whole like convoluted um thing of uh making each individual like platelet but i think i probably could have just used crease so i'm gonna smooth this out i don't want it to really ruin the the shapes so i'm gonna turn the intensity down a little bit so it doesn't completely flatten everything out again I'll do the same thing with this. I'll just kind of smooth it out. Okay, so looking pretty good. I still don't know. It looks like there's something back there. I can't quite tell what it is, though. Like, it looks like there's... Go back to my crease. Like it looks like there's something like, like this. But I'm not quite sure. And I was also thinking it might be cool to have a line down the middle but for that, I think, since I want to get a straight line, I've been trying to practice with this uh, stabilizer, the Lazy Rope Stabilizer, which I don't have that much experience with. Where is it? Let me make this even smaller. Let's see what happens. Make sure I'm right at the top. Oh, I'm still on symmetry. So I'm gonna take it off symmetry. Just so I can do it right down the middle. That actually looks really good. Another thing that, that might have uh, been good is for me to uh, wait till I colored it and then added some color to the creases. 
but I'll just have to paint them. So that's not a big issue, but it is something that might, could have been useful. Um, one other thing I'm noticing is I don't feel like this is actually wide enough in the front. So let me see if, let me see if I can like stretch it out. Oops. Let me turn on symmetry again. It feels like it needs to come out a little bit more. That feels a bit, that feels a little bit better. needs to come out a little bit more at the bottom because it's not really it's almost flat on the bottom but then it curves so and it comes to quite a little bit of a point here your nails are so long baby what are you doing what's going on what's going on huh <laughs> what's going on Here we go. Just want to make that a little sharper. Got to be careful though because very easily does it start become it starts becoming. You know I don't want to see any of my I don't want to see any of this. Okay, so that looks good. So let's just add some crease along the bottom just to kind of I just like to add designs for fun. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. So this is looking really, really good uh, so far. I'm really happy with it. So next, for these legs, I'm going to try to make this simple and use the tube. So with the tube, I'm going to use curve and... Okay, so there's two that come up they all sort of come from this section, it looks like. So they all come from this section. So let's see, what's the best way to do this with the tube? So if it comes from here, it's gonna go like this. Then it comes down quite a bit, and then it comes over like that. Okay, not bad, not bad. So we wanna bring these over to where they, where they go. So if we were looking at it from the front, whoops. And I'm just constantly moving the screen around to be able to To be able to really gauge like where where I want this stuff these things to go and this actually looks like it comes off which I don't I don't think I actually need that but it might be interesting to even put that little curve into it so it looks like it comes off Maybe not like going straight towards the head, so I need to move this over a little bit. And I need to move these up. So I'll move these up. And then just, just this just goes straight down. So 
So this can be round. I'm trying to get rid of those extra points if I don't need them. So I just I just bring them together and that kind of get, gets rid of them. And I guess I can make it smaller make it smaller now. So I think I just here we go. I'm gonna try to make it the same relative side size. So that looks good. Okay, so it looks like it comes out then it's just straight, maybe something like here. Oops. I probably don't even need this extra that extra piece so I'll just round that out I think that's probably more efficient but I want to make it straight and his legs are actually quite long so it's not bad I think it I think it matches pretty closely. And this might actually be So I think I'm going to add two, just so there's more of a bend. Yeah, I think that looks that looks better. And one thing I'm sort of noticing is there actually is a lot of space there's a lot of space here, so it looks like the I should have made the back section a little. Uh, I should have made the back section a bit deeper. I may be able to fudge it by. Ooh, let's see. could stretch the back out a little bit more so I'm gonna go ahead and before I before I get rid of this the only thing that I think I might need to do is let me see how far it comes out from his head I feel like I feel like these can be a little bit closer. And his legs should be the, a little bit longer. Oops. I'll add two here as well. Okay, that feels that feels right. So let me mirror this, and then I will validate it. So 
So that looks good. Of course, I can always, I can always um, transform them by using the symmetry tool. If I feel like they need to be a little bit wider or something. But I think that's pretty good. So one thing that I noticed is that this doesn't look sufficiently round. So I just want to round this out. Roundness is very integral in it being in things being cute. Whoops. Turn the sensitivity down a little bit. There we go. That's better. That's better. Okay, so the legs are all fairly similar, so I think I might be able to cheat it. And I will just go to the legs. Let me let me um, start labeling these. So, legs one. Oh, can't spell. So I'm just gonna duplicate this and name these legs two. But I'm actually gonna spell it right. And now I'm gonna use the gizmo. And I feel like they're probably not back that much further, but I feel like they're just opened up. So it looks like they are probably around here. And they're actually quite a bit wider. They almost go out more. They go out more and they look like they're... And maybe they are a little bit further apart. Something like that. It's really weird that it made like this bar underneath. I don't really, I don't really get that. I'm gonna move them up a little bit higher. But I mean, it's fine. It's just kind of, kind of strange. So for the back legs, I'm gonna clone. I'm gonna clone those legs, and then I'm gonna move this like so, and I'm gonna make sure that I label this legs three. Because I always want to make sure that I'm, uh, oh, let me stop recording my computer. I was recording the cat. So it looks like, these legs are, have a nice like bellow kind of in, if that makes sense. So let me see if I can make that happen. Oh, it might be better for me to use a, another tube, actually. Yeah, I think it might be better for me to use another tube. Okay, so let's do the tube again and just sort of make these legs. So I feel like they would be almost coming from the same, oh, gotta remember to hit curve. Almost coming from the same spot. Something like that. So let me make it, let me try to match the other legs. 
That looks good, maybe a tad bit smaller. Okay, so this looks like like it comes out let me start it where the other legs are So it looks like it comes out. I almost tried to squirrel on that to, to move it around. So it looks like it comes out to a point. It's a little lower than that middle leg. So we want to make it a little lower. And then it looks like it turns back. So let me, I don't want to line those up so they go away, but I want to line them up. Then it comes straight down. But it looks like it's a little more in. So I might be able to get rid of these. leg comes down it's looking it's looking okay it's looking okay for now so I want to make these sort of in a similar level did I use two I might have used two on the other ones so now I want to just make sure that everything is level so what I'm gonna do is and this is the reason why we're using orthographic because it leaves that straight line so I want to I want to just take, let me get rid of this original sphere because that one looked ugly. So now I'm going to use my gizmo. I don't know why I always pronounce it gizmo. I could say gizmo. I feel like gizmo is more um, I don't know, it's more something. It's more sophisticated. Gizmo. Okay, so now that we have it up I can just use this as a reference for making everything level and I'm not too worried about it being perfect but I want it to be pretty much on that level Whoop. and for these I'll just use move pretty small because I've already already validated oh. just gotta figure out a way to do it so they don't um, maybe drag let's try drag make it make it a little bigger there we go that works and these are pretty good. They're pretty much on that plane. The, now the, the back leg I did not validate yet because I want to make sure that it's how I want it to look. Um, so I feel like this needs to be There's something weird happening here. So 
So I think this needs to be, oh, I see. I think I see what I could do better. I think this one should be pointed back. Move those closer. a little bit better. Still think that I want this to be straight. Yeah, that feels that feels better. So let me try to put it at the angle and see if there's any differences. The angle of the actual picture. Okay, so it looks like this, it's too bad it's not, it's validated or else I could easily, I need to sort of turn it, which is not really the easiest thing to do. So I might have to, I might have to do these legs again. They're not, it's not terrible, but it is, it does kind of bother me a little bit that these, these legs are sort of facing this way. Um, okay, but I think I know what I might be able to do instead. I think that's a better solution. I can do that and then I can I might be able to move the middle part so let me lock it so I don't move anything else by accident okay there we go I think that's better okay let me unlock it so for this back one Still not validated, so still have a lot of leeway in order to make sure it's how I want it before I validate it. So bring that in there, and maybe I'll... Actually, I think that's pretty good. This leg is a little low. Looks like it's a little lower than the other ones. And I'll just make that midpoint over a little bit. So it doesn't look like it's where the other, going right into the other leg. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to mirror it. And then I'm going to validate. Okay. So now, obviously, like the... This is like, looks very straight. This one, hers, looks like it's curved a little bit. So I'm gonna, just gonna use move. And I just wanna move this, so I'm gonna lock it. And I just want to, using the, using the symmetry tool and making the move tool really big, if I go in the middle, it should sort of bend it. Ever so slightly. Okay, that's pretty good. So now I'm just gonna bring that back down.
Okay. And maybe I'll bring those back legs up a little bit. So let me unlock it and then go to these back legs. I feel like I can actually still turn them a little bit. Turn them out and then move them up. So move them up there. Move them back a little bit. And I think the back, I think the back one is fine. I'm okay with that. So I feel like what would look nice for these little, these little, um, for the legs going in is I'm just going to use spheres and I feel like they'll, I feel like that will kind of help make it look a little more, uh, polished. I can't see what she has on the bottom of hers, but that's okay. So I'm actually, I'm going to go back a step because I want to actually mirror it. So I'm just going to make this small. Okay, and I'll mirror that. And I'll validate it. And then I can probably just clone. So I'll just clone it. Bring these closer together. I'll bring them up. Okay, and now I'll clone those and I'll use these for the back legs as well. Okay, so now for the back legs, I really don't want this bit in the middle. So I'm gonna use my trim tool, make sure I'm on the right spot. And hopefully this will just trim. Legs too, okay. So this should trim. Ooh. There we go. Still some artifacts there. Okay, there we go. That looks nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and merge all these spheres together. And I want to merge the legs together. I'm pretty happy with them. I'll merge the legs. So we have the legs, we have the spheres, the spheres. Okay, so I think our, our bug is looking pretty good. All he needs now is some eyes, and then we'll do some color. I can actually, I can probably puff this bottom part out a little bit. I probably don't need to. I probably just want to give it a nice little bump. A nice little bump down. Okay, that feels good. That's a nice median. Okay, so I think this is good uh, for now. In the next video, I will do. Uh, the eyes, maybe some more details, and um, and we'll get to coloring this guy. All right? Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, that was close. I only got 16% more, sixteen on my uh, Apple Pencil. And less than an hour. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you can come on and chat to me when I'm doing my live videos. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Drug Free Dave, and Drug Free Dave 3D for all my new 3D work. I have about 11 Procreate 
digital art Skillshare classes and I have one Nomad Sculpt 3D class, I'm really excited about Skillshare. I have a Facebook group, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance, so maybe I'll see you on Facebook. As always, keep drawing and I will catch you all in the next video.